Well, you might recognize our next guest from season two, Farmer Wants a Wife, where bachelors who are farmers host a group of women who leave behind the comfort of city life for the charms and challenges of country living. Joining us now to share his ag background, first generation farmer, Tennessee native, Mitchell Kolinsky. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Suzanne, I so, really appreciate it. Man, I mean, you know, obviously a lot of people taking interest in the, how this all plays out, but for you, I mean, legitimately, you're a first generation farmer. I know you grew up right around horses, so speak to your background because you, you were here in East Tennessee, so kind of a local guy. For sure, so originally from Knoxville and grew up on a small quarter horse farm. But now I got my own plot of land here in Middle Tennessee where I can really work on the scalability and profitability of a farm. And I can't wait to dig, dig, dig into it and make it my own. Talk about your operation. What's the goal? What do you, what do you hope to do? Yes, ma'am. So I studied uh, agricultural leadership at University of Tennessee for five years, worked on some different farms there. So I'm hoping to bring that beef cattle experience that I worked on at Tennessee into my own farm, have a beef cattle operation, and as well as my horsemanship and definitely a garden. So we're going to be doing a pick your own garden this summer and spring uh, where people come through and just like grocery store aisle, but big enough to fit strollers. Through. You know, I got to tell you, there's always a learning cur curve. I mean, because your family wasn't doing this, right? right? So this is something that you're learning as you go. It's got to be a fun process for you. For sure. Yeah, I got my farm uh, just this past year. So now I'm really making it my own, clearing it up and uh, trying to get ready for all this vegetables that we plan on having this spring. When is it going to be up and running? I mean, you said this spring. It's, yeah, I hope some time between June. There's really. like a, a lot of marketing that goes involved. For sure. In that. So like I said, a big learning curve. Yeah. You know, I said it's so important, and I don't know if the show realizes this, but really highlighting the fact of where our food comes from. 100%. And I think even these these women, are, are they from the city? I mean, is some that the... Some are. Uh, most yeah. of them are, but some of them aren't. So. Yeah, I mean, and they're learning as they go as well about right. where our food comes from and really the hard work that it takes to be a farmer. I mean, we're watching farmland disappear, watching our farm farmers age out. So yes. this really is highlighting the fact that, you know, this is what you want to do. You're a young guy yep. and hopefully find a love mash and have a family and really see multi generations exactly. on the land that you have. Yeah, I'm super passionate about it. And truly, I'm just a lover of the outdoors. So if I can share that with a special lady and teach them, you know, the stewardship of the land and how we're supposed to take care of it and then be able to have some beautiful crops, that would be just my biggest dream. You know, a lot of young women watching right now going, come on, why did you have to do this show? What the heck? Talk about your decision to be a part of this. You know, um, I got reached out to and I thought it was a scam at first, but then I got a call from California and this casting agency and I was like, wow, this is real life. Who would have thought that this farmer that lives in a 1890 log cabin would have five beautiful women come live with me, but it was real reality. You know, we had some true love stories out there and it, it's a great story. So I look forward to everybody tuning in. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun and you're Thank having you. a blast with this. For sure. I mean, a family very supportive? Are they kind of getting a, a Oh yeah, a they're kick totally on my and, side. Anything yeah. that I do, I do full force. I'm a yes guy, so they're they're definitely on my side supporting me. And this is running through May, correct? Uh, yes, 15 episodes. Okay. All right, so we can't talk about how it's going or anything like that. Right. Well, I mean, you can we catch up on some of the past stuff. So yeah. I think I'm down to four girls right now in the show and uh, they've got to do a little bit of farm work and we get to put them to the test. But um, man, it's such a great show. I'm excited <laughs> for everybody to watch it. Looking forward to seeing out. Hopefully he finds a love match. We're going to be following so, up on yeah. that. Thank Mitchell, you. thank you so much. And also Appreciate he plays some guitar too. Got a yes, little, got a little country music. <laughs> First generation Tennessee farmer Mitchell Kolinsky. Again, thank you. You can catch Farmer Wants a Wife Thursdays on Fox with a new episode airing next week. Thank you so much. Thank